Indigenous voters in the bush have already been casting their ballots in the Territory election. The remote communities have tended to be safe for Labor. But this election, the country Liberals are running several high-profile candidates in bush seats. One battle in the bush is taking place in the vast electorate of Stewart, which stretches from the desert just north of Alice Springs to communities near Catherine. Sarah Everingham reports. Morning. How are you? Labor's Carl Hampton is pressing the flesh as mobile polling begins in Beswick, southeast of Catherine. And, uh, today's really important that people vote. Labor's held Stewart for decades, but Carl Hampton's biggest worry is one of his relatives. Bess Price has the seat in her sights and is now his political opponent. Bess Price's national profile rose with her vocal support of the federal intervention. The federal Labor government has implemented its own version of the intervention called Stronger Futures. In many ways I see this election in Stuart um, a mini referendum on the intervention. It's not about the intervention, that's federal. No more intervention. You've been mentioning intervention wherever you've been, Carl. While the country Liberals are picking up on what they say is discontent with the amalgamation of local governments into super shires. In the last federal election, there was a swing against Labor in the remote parts of the Northern Territory. The question is whether there will be a similar shift in this Territory election. Best Price is one of the candidates the CLP have chosen as high profile Indigenous candidates in, in outback electorates. It's the first time they've gone to that effort and it may pay off at this election. It would take a big swing to unseat Carl Hampton, who holds Stuart with a margin of 15%. So I'll hand them out to you like this. An unknown factor is the third Indigenous candidate in the seat, Maury Jarpeter Ryan, who says his new First Nations party is an achievement in itself. I've already had my victory, even without going to the polls. The main battleground of the election is still in Darwin, but voters say some of the Territory's biggest issues are out here in the bush. Especially for our young people, the youths, there's no um, pathway for them to get. Um, employment. Their kids sniffing, their kids aren't t attending schools. Mobile polling continues in Stewart this week. Sarah Everingham, ABC News, Beswick.